Welcome to the weekly roundup, Division 7 time, brought to you from the Portland Hotel. I'm Wayne Knowles with the one and only, the producer, Luke Hosey. Luke, how are you, mate? G'day, Knowles. How are you, mate? Good, mate. It's been a while since you and I have been on together. I've been on three times this year, and one of them was last week and one was this week. So, with Darcy last week and you tonight. And Darcy last week? Poor oh, bugger. Well, we said that you couldn't make it. You had a Tupperware party to go to last week. So. I... Tupperware party. He didn't mention that to me when I see him on the weekend, but anyway, I'll... Uh, yeah, we'd glad if I know you were at that Tupperware party, so... I'll tell you what, I've got some good bargains, though. I've got a great new lunch box, no, all right, and I've got you a drink on it. So, um, yeah, Darcy, you got stuff for all. Anyway, we'll get straight. It's finals time, mate. Finals time, the years come along really quickly. Yeah, um, finals, did, did three to Div 7. Yeah, did three to Div 7, and... Uh, the first one in Div 7 was the, um, the elimination final. It was uh, up at Volcano Oval. And it was Teacher Gully, 11 8 74, defeating Mawson Lakes, 7 7 49. So, uh, year over for the Mozzies, mate. Uh, you, you Mad would, Monday today, probably. You would know uh, the Mawson Lakes well. The boys later, a few. Oh, there's a few there that I yeah, coached back in the day. but well, um, One of the 14 clubs you've coached. Well, here we go. Fair chance. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Rub it in. Rub it in. Anyway, uh, for Teacher Gully, we had Wicks with four, Daniels and Thompson kicking turn with Doyle, Formosa, and Turner all kicking singles with uh, Doyle, Wood, Wilson, and Cunningham in the best for the Gullies, mate, and for the Mozzies. Yeah, Richards uh, kicked three. We had... Uh, Caffex Holly. Caffex Holly. Yep. First time I've seen that name. We had Brown, Keisty, King. Better players were Salter, King, Tonkin, Davies, and Keisty. Keisty. Well done to Teacher Gully Teach up at Bolkana. Yep. Big, big round up there on the weekend. Down yeah, the bottom oval, yep. They grade were at Pertoringa in the A and the, the, the C and B grade were at uh, Bolkana. So, so uh, it's season over for 2018 for Mawson Lake. So yes. Anyway, moving on to the qualifying final. They haven't been the same since the Riddler coached them, have they? Oh, here we go. It's our great. Oh, no, Jeff, Jeff Riddle said that. He said they haven't been the same since he coached. Well... And I said, well, Knowles, he said it would be the same as he coached. Oh, no, I never said that. It's, um, yeah, we won't go into that. Anyway, <laughs> we'll uh, move on. It was um, at St. Paul's uh, College, the next game, and it was uh, Marion, sorry, 13 6 84, making the trek up to St. Paul's, defeating St. Paul's 10 6 10 8 68. So, St. Paul's beat. beat uh, they beat Marion, and they beat um, Sullivan's Beach. Beach, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, you don't know who was playing. St. Paul's up at half time though by two goals and then uh, it all kind of fell away. But uh, big congratulations to Ryan Wade. He kicked his 100th goal on the weekend. Yeah, so, um, two, that's two out of Division 7. Yeah, so you've got Trev, Trev Rigney and Ryan Wade both kicking 100. So um, both from the, the two new clubs that are coming into the Amateur yeah, League. Which is good. And, uh, that's a huge effort kicking 100 yeah. a year. Especially, uh, they probably don't get it in Div 7 where they all flood black and play as no. on that. But uh, certainly... In the higher grades they do. But yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, for Marion, we had Wade with six, uh, Connier with two, with Smith, uh, Bazand, O'Day, Wilden and Saunders all kicking singles, with uh, obviously Ryan Wade best, Jason McBride second best, Saunders, McCallum and Juson for the Rams, mate. And uh, yeah, it's all right, to, all right to do it in the minor round, but Wade's also done at the final and kicked six. So yeah, six, well, yeah. Well done, that's a big game player. The St. Paul's, we had Demetrio with three, we had Pendleton with two, Werfel with two, Mas Nasseruddin with yep, two, Nasseruddin, yep. uh, Thompson with one, we had Adamo, Rigetti, Adamo, Charlton and Zemetrio. I'm glad Dimitri. Darcy's not here this week. It would have been English with Darcy tonight, eh? But um, St. Paul's, they're still alive and kicking. They're still alive, they're still alive. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get on to this week's matches, but obviously I, I think they'll... Uh, well, they've got, this week they've got uh, Tetra Gully, Tetra Tetra Gully at the school. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll probably finish Tetra Gully's year again uh, this year, this week, I reckon. But um, you think? You reckon yeah, I do, yeah, I do. And I reckon I reckon this this will be the prelim final this one year. I reckon they'll, uh, they'll see each other in two weeks' time. But anyway, so um, it's uh, moving on to this week's games. Like I said, uh, the first one is the uh, the second semi final up at. Um, Lonsdale, mate. It's O'Sullivan's Beach, Lonsdale, taking on Marion. Is, is that the school? That is the school, yes. It's the Lonsdale Primary School. Um, two two uh, Southern clubs that have come into the Amateur League this year, playing off in a second semi, which um, it's good for both clubs because they both really struggled for years on end. So, 
Yeah, I don't um, know much about them, I must admit. I've, I've driven by the school, yep. but that's as far as I've gone. I've never seen, you know, haven't been in there. But. Yeah, a bit of a different place, but um, they're great people down at OSB, so, uh, you know, good luck to them, and uh, good luck to Marion on Saturday, but I think OSB will get the job done. Yeah, I, well, on form, um, yeah, throughout the year they were 17, they lost round 18, but yep. we don't know what happened with that racing players, that sort of stuff. When you're that far clear, you can do that sort of stuff. That. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, I think they'll get Marion as well. They get, they get Marion as well. And Marion, they got some fantastic facilities. Oh, they've got uh, great facilities. Yeah, went there been with quite, cricket. I've been actually quite known to be down there having dinner. Actually. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. went there when we at Kilburn and Jeff Cross played against Marion in the cricket. Yeah, great facilities. When you were bowling your medium pages. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Slow medium. The mood nuts. Yeah. So, um, Anyway, the uh, first semi-final, we, uh, like we said, at St Paul's College, it's St Paul's taking on Tetra Gully. At the school? At the school. You think that is an advantage to, to St Paul's. Paul's? However, there's a lot of experienced guys, you know, you look through that Tetra Gully yeah, side. Yeah, Daniel Wicks, Formosa, all, yeah, kind of all these guys, yep. they all played A1 footy, Stevie league, Daniels. League, league footy, things like that. Yep. Gee, there's a, a lot of experience. But whether or not they can bring that experience to a bit of leg speed, yeah, exactly. you know, it's starting to get on a bit. Yep. Um, I'm going for St Paul's, but I'm probably not as bullish as that as it is well, you. Yeah, you know, I just I think St Paul's is going to be too strong, especially at home. Maybe so, a little bit too much leg speed. A bit too much leg speed, and the school oval is always very challenging for a lot of clubs to play at. It's, okay. uh, the far wing. Blends into the soccer over, which blends into another another oval out there. Oh, you're an old Saint Paul. I am an old Saint Paul's boy, mate. Yes. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, Saint Paul's for me. I think Tiffany Gully done a great job, but I think uh, it will finish this Saturday. So. Not as not as bullish about it as you, because I reckon like guys are experienced, like they tend to stand up in the finals. So yep. I'm going with Saint Paul's, but with uh, a little bit of trepidation. Well, that's been Division Seven. Um, thanks. You, for can, you can tell us while we're here. Oh. For Sullivan's Beach, now we mentioned uh, Marion's facilities. What's it like at uh, Sullivan's Beach? Never been there. Uh, they've got a little uh, club room, I think it's a demountable club room, They got and the change rooms are in the school. Okay. Um, yeah. So not as good as Marion? No, no way. No way. Marion's stuff is. Yeah, that's the one kind of. Oh, yeah, they're, they're really good. They're as good as any one Division One club. They're yeah. not better than us. You know, they're fantastic. But, uh, um, yeah. All right, I mean, there's an insight. I didn't know. So. There you go. So anyway, that's been Division 7, like I was trying to say before, before you really interrupted oh, me, sorry, mate. Sorry. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you all again next week. Thank you.